Hey everybody, we're back with another 100 Legend Rune crafting video. Um, it may end up being 110, you know, whatever. We're, we're kind of, I'm not going to stop until I can't do 10x. Um, I'll try to explain, as usual, um, why I'm keeping a rune, but I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of times it's mostly just going to be it's not very efficient, um, or it doesn't have speed, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just get right into it. All right, start out. We may even have a visit from a cat in a minute, because he's chilling. Uh, all right, let's get going. First up, we have, let's see, a Violent, that's kind of nice, a Despair in there. Okay, we roll this, so even though it's flat slot four and an offset, we want to see if we get a quad, because any quad is a good quad, so we take a look. This one's a flat slot six, no good, and it's an offset, pretty bad. This one, potential juicer, could be a quad speed, and it can has crit rate crit damage, which could be good for like a PvE set. So hilariously, this, if it rolled better, would have been fantastic, because this could have been like a 1228. This is pretty bad. This is in fact like, almost a blue rune so this is just a straight sell sad that could have been really nice um same deal here rolling this because it's crit rate crit damage at attack uh once again rolled terrible and it went into the wrong stats so we're really not doing very well uh violent slot one with speed please quad uh, oh no <laughs> this could have been a juicer uh i d i'm gonna keep it but i don't think this is even usable unfortunately that's just too slow actually no i'm not gonna keep it sad it's a sad rune could have been better this one is just kind of like nice high rolls to start with <laughs> we're, we're off to a good start like awesome awesome distributions terrible rolls that's that's probably that's just gonna be how it is today oh man every one of these with better rolls would have been oh, it's doing it again <laughs> oh no oh no oh this is this is wild like this is simultaneously the best and worst luck at the same time oh man look okay okay hold on once again this this is wild okay so this is actually pretty nice this is very efficient and it's on uh a dps blade rune so i'm going to keep this pretty nice um we'll power that up later uh this one i'm not even going to roll for the crit damage i don't care that much once again, this one, uh, again, starts kind of efficiently. I just want to see what happens. It dies. Okay, so dis despite, theoretically, we had four fantastic runes there, we actually got rolls so bad that it just didn't work. And you've got to keep in mind that. This one, uh, I'm not going to even go for it. No speed. Um, vampire, if this goes pure crit rate, like this could even be something like a, okay. It, this could be like something for a Douglas on like a vampire or a... Um, like an attack slot four, uh, Douglas. So rage with crit damage, you have to try to get the crit damage quad. It didn't happen, um, so unfortunate. Fatal, has speed, roll up for the quad. Crit damage, if it maxed crit damage also, that could also be another way this could have been good. Um, a lot of these runes, an attack percent destroy with no speed, I'm not interested in. A swift with a six speed starter, the juice. Unfortunately, misses it completely and use, it gets unusable rolls. This one is a flat attack slot four without speed. Uh, slot one has crit rate, crit damage, and speed. Um, <clears throat> this is potentially usable. That last roll is kind of bad. I think I have a couple better than this already. I'm going to keep it just so I can compare it later. But a high crit roll is kind of what you want on that. Really, you want more crit damage than crit rate, but you never know. Maybe it'll be useful somewhere. Um, just bad rolls. Didn't roll into speed. This one, another speed. Looking for the quad. Like, we're, we're actually off to... I'm kind of feeling like we're going to get a quad today just based on those rolls. Like, everything's just, like, hitting awesome distributions. Just terrible actual rolls. This one, it's not even worth rolling for speed. Another blade with crit rate and the speed. Um, a high... Fairly good triple and then an extra speed roll. I don't think this is usable. I'm going to keep it just in case. Uh, usually, you want crit rate, crit damage, not actually the attack stat so much on those, but you never know. Uh, no, no attack or no speed on that one, and it's not a reap target. Fatal, no crit rate or crit damage, and just speed. So this is just looking for a quad. Uh, fight set with crit rate, crit damage. This uh, actually just won it potentially for PVE. Unfortunately, it died with those flat defenses. But I, I do need you need like fight sets that look like Rage Blade Fatals are pretty good for some high end PVE teams. Uh, blade on defense. This is like maybe like kind of like a copper rune, but it actually rolled pretty inefficiently. So I'm, I don't even want it. I don't want to deal with that. More speed. We're, we're seeing a lot of speed rolls today, or we're seeing a lot of speed base stats. So that's not a reap because it's got HP percent. Um, we're just we just want a quad accuracy. Let's see it. Nope. <laughs> the exact opposite. 
Uh, I don't think this is usable. No speed, uh, and that's mainly an RTA set, so speed's pretty high demand. Uh, let's see. This one, roll for the quad. Be very sad if it hits. Good, it didn't. Uh, will, speed, crit rate, crit damage, potentially usable on a variety of things. Hits the triple, bad roll. So I, I don't keep a 20 on will, so sad. Um, I don't even know. Man, we are just, we are spicy triples. Like how, this is like a, this is like a task failed successfully kind of a situation. Like everything's kind of looking like it's going to be great. And then it's just not great at all. So if this goes pure crit rate, crit damage, it's maybe usable. Oh, look at this. Look, this is wild. Today, this is like karma. This is like, how can everything do as good and bad as possible? Just tons of triples on legends. This I'm only using if it goes like quad crit rate pretty much. Uh, this, this actually look, could be really nice. Really nice. Uh, I don't think, I'm gonna keep it because I actually do need good fight sets. And this one's not good, but it's at least potentially usable. So I'm gonna keep it just uh, to compare. Um, this was mostly like a speed chase. This looks pretty efficient. So if this like, okay, yeah. If this had rolled like really well, just like in the actual uh, rolls, then as opposed to the distribution, then maybe that would have been a keep. Um, same thing kind of here. It has HP and def. So if it like quads one of those, Oh wow, that died really hard. Uh, speed chase, but also crit rate, crit damage, just to see. Okay, it goes into everything and their bad rolls. Here we have a potential juicer. Unfortunately died. Man, lots of lots of speeds to start out with. Pretty nice. Um, I, I mean, that one felt like it was going to die. Same deal here. There's a couple different ways this rune could go good, and it went none of them. Awesome. Nice, we have a crit rate and a speed on a blade rune, both of which could be good. Doesn't, it almost hits the speed, but actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep this for a reapp. Um, so I, so remember there's that event where they give a whole bunch of reapps, but like for specific sets. So it, it, it behooves everyone to be keeping some amount of good reapp targets in sets that you wouldn't normally reapp. Um, and so these max, like a max accuracy is kind of nice. Uh, here we have an actual, this one's a potential good rune. Unfortunately, rolls pretty bad. Um, this one I don't think can go good at all. All right, about half done, approximately half done. Another, another fight, no speed on it, and the substats are pretty bad. Uh, accuracy, no speed, and again, substats not optimal. Another, this one's a fight rune. If it goes crit rate, crit damage, uh, this is almost usable. I'm gonna keep it just in case because you do need good fight. Like my fight runes are pitifully bad. So this one's cool. Crit, crit damage and speed. Let's see it. Um, hmm. I, I, I'm gonna keep this just to look at because I can put attack percent here and it actually becomes kind of a good DPS rune in a few situations. Okay, flat attack slot four, no speed. Don't even roll it. Defense, not a reap target. Don't care. Defense, not a reap. Don't care. Fight set, flat, and no speed, don't care. Crit rate, crit damage on slot three, check for a quad crit damage, didn't happen, so immediate sell. Tolerance run with crit damage with crit rate, just to see if it wilds out, it did not. Like, some of those are, are like just tentative keeps if it rolled like super perfect, just cause like you're sometimes limited on like, you know, how many, how many quad crit rates do you have on a crit damage rune, right? Uh, destroy, I'm not even gonna roll it for the crit damage, I don't care. Uh, swift, non reap without speed, basically instant sell. Same thing with this one. Uh, rage, without crit damage on it, HP percent, nah. Uh, okay, has speed, roll it just to see. Crit rate, crit damage as well. Uh, terrible rolls, distribution's not very good either. Okay, it's probably a keeper fight rune just because I need fight sets. Nice triple until it, it completely lost a roll. It's actually worse, this is like worse than a purple with a nice triple. I don't think I keep that. Um, crit rate, crit damage again on slot three. Like one, three, five crit rate, crit damages. You kind of always want to roll just to see if you like quad crit damage. Flat slot two violent, not keepable. Endure, um, this might be, I don't know if I keep this as a, even a reapp. Um, I'm going to keep it as a reapp just for that one event. Okay, flat slot four, no good. All right. Still getting good distributions. Lots of lots of nice triples, um, but with bad rolls. Bad rolls. Okay, flat slot six, no speed. Don't even roll it. Uh, accuracy rune. This might be a reap target. 
you know, I don't even care. I don't want it. I'm, I'm tired of those. I'm tired of these runes just going bad today. Uh, okay, roll it for speed. Again, nice triple that rolls like dead. Like there's just so many dead rolls happening. But I mean, that's how it is sometimes. So this isn't even gonna be a reap, unfortunately. I have a lot of good slot three, uh, one, three, five reaps on on uh, violent. Uh, this isn't even a, yeah, don't keep that. Don't even try to roll it. No crit rate or crit damage or attack percent on a blade rune, just immediately sell it. This one could be kind of cool if it like quad speed. Um, I don't think I'll keep that. The res, it is kind of a cool reap target though. Do I keep that as a reap target? I don't think I'm gonna roll tolerance. But it is resistance though. That that could be pretty nice. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as a reapp just in case I feel like rerolling these for that one event. I don't think I'm going to, but I mean who keeps reapp targets for tolerance, right? So whatever. Okay, speed and crit rate and attack percent. Goes into everything, immediately sell. Fatal. This is just looking for a quad ac, pretty much. I still don't have an a, a quad accuracy on slot two speed. Even on a bad set. I shouldn't have even rolled this. I don't know what I was thinking. Flat slot six, not good. Um, destroy rune, I'm, it looks moderately efficient. It died, I think. Destroy with speed, just roll it for the speed. Oh, see, look at that, 17. This is a one off of a minimum <laughs> triple roll. We are, look at this, just triples all day. Just like weirdly bad ones. Uh, I don't think we keep this. Actually, that could be a reapp, but I don't think it. Okay, give me a quad crit rate. Make up for it, come to us. Okay, nice triple. I think I'm gonna keep this because uh, I can throw crit damage over like the resistance or something. Uh, I do, as I said, I still need at least okay fight runes and this is one of the only places I ever get them. So uh, I, I take what I can get. Uh, that could be a reapp. I actually have reapps though for seal. All right, two more of these. Another fight set. Come on, do it. Let's see it. Okay, died. Uh, accuracy. This. I don't. I think even if this rolls efficiently, I don't like it, and I don't really want a four crit rate for a reap. Um, nah, just bad base stats all around. Bad base stats. Um, speed chase. No good. More speed chasing. We love speed chasing. Uh, and that actually rolled pretty efficiently. That's like one off here, one off here, two off here, and it's a like high in eight. I'm actually gonna keep this one. Um, that's kind of an interesting rune. I don't know where I'll use it exactly, but that is kind of an interesting one. Okay, a seal non reap. Get rid of it. Uh, tolerance HP get bad. Energy with a. Uh, I mean, there's a world where this is good. This isn't the world where it's good, though. Like, if it had rolled into crit rate, that would have been kind of nice. All right, speed chasing a swift rune, the thing we always want to see. Um, unfortunately, not the triple we wanted, but it's the triple we got. All right, this is the last one, set of 10. This, like, save us, come to us, save us. Quad accuracy right now. Uh... And not, not efficient enough. We're missing a half roll on both those first two and then a little bit on the crit rate. So it kind of is worse than a purple and it's on a bad offset. Um, if this quad's attack percent, maybe I keep it, but nah, there's no way. Okay, this is just sad. Um, chasing speed again on this Endure rune. Nope, no good. Uh, more chasing speed. Uh, I mean, just all these like offsets that aren't the main PVP sets, I'm not generally very excited about. Chasing speed again. I mean, whatever. Uh, oh, whew. This one's kind of juicy, though. Like, again, if this quad speed, like, it's three flat stats, but I would still use it. <laughs> actually, hold on, hold on. This is a, this is a reap again. This is actually a really good reap for that event. Attack percent max accuracy. Nice. Um, no. And one vampire rune to rule them all. 40 attack percent. Uh, this is potentially usable. Um, like a, a more, or not a more, a, a Douglas or something. Um, missing three here, missing four here. So it's actually over a purple, and then you can put crit damage right here. It's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, uh, that is it for my rune crafting. Let's take a quick review of what I got. Um, 
starting right about, no, not there, here. So this was the first one that rolled really well. Uh, this one is fantastic. I like this rune a lot. Um, what I'm probably, so so the, the option here is you can either, you could use this for an auto crit unit, like a Teor or something, and then maybe you'd want to put HP percent over this. Like for instance, the um, thing is if you're building on Blade, you don't really need it for Teor, so never mind. I think you need the crit rate. So I think really you probably just gem higher attack percent here and just make it a pure nuker rune. It's, it'd be pretty nice. But you could also put a higher crit rate over it. Um, this one, a high crit rate, but a resistance roll. Kind of sad, but maybe it gets used. Uh, this one, I'm pretty convinced I'm gonna sell it here in a minute once I look at my other runes, but I mean, at least check it out. Uh, fight set that's not completely, is kind of efficient, uh, is way better than most of my fight sets, so we're gonna keep it for now. Um, this one is just a reap target. This one is just like the other one, is like kind of efficient fight set, so maybe I can use it for something that scales on HP percent for instance, just because it just needs crit damage. Uh, Will, this one's just an efficient DPS rune. We're getting a lot of kind of PVE DPS things. This one's just a re target for that one event. Same thing here. Um, this one, I think I sell this. No, no, forgot. This is, this is a triple crit rate on a fight set where you sometimes need accuracy on your fight set. So I'm gonna keep it for that reason. Uh, this one is just weirdly efficient. Um, so I'm gonna use it just in case it shows up in, a, in an optimization at some point. Uh, this one's a reap target, and then this one's maybe a Douglas rune. So yeah, we had a lot of potential juicers today. I mean, just think if any one of those, like we had like six runes today that if they had just, the rolls had been better, not even the distribution, they would have been fantastic. So, I mean, I don't know. Our hit rate was really good today, honestly, other than the, obviously the low rolls. Like, so that's another way that they can die. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll get back to farming. We'll do another one. I, I, I'm going to have a special one. Uh, we're going to have a couple guest ones probably because some some other people got inspired and started saving up theirs. So I may be doing a couple extra of these for people and hopefully it works out for them. I love seeing somebody get a good quad. So anyway, thanks again. See you guys later and uh, have a good one.